understand how customer analytics can help a business to multiply its return and retention, perhaps there is no best example than media giant Netflix. Well, you may call it a media giant, but I actually call it an analytics titan. Let me tell you why. So we all know the background story of Netflix, founded in 1997 by Reed Hastings as a subscription mail order DVD company. Now during those good old days, distributing the shiny discs in prepaid mailing pouches was very attractive and probably disruptive as well, which actually toppled some of the largest players in the market like Blockbuster Video, which was a nationwide giant media company. And that was only the beginning. So the current valuation of over 164 billion, now disclaimer, this data will be still backdated as they grow overnight. So Netflix has surpassed even Disney as the most valued media company in the world. So we'd like to reflect like what magical one perhaps Netflix may have in their possession Yes, you guessed it right. It's called customer analytics. Now, with an astounding customer retention rate of 93%, Netflix has belittled all the other streaming services like Amazon, Stan, Hulu. And the 2019 data suggests their current user base is 151 million worldwide. So by looking into Netflix customer analytics, I sum up all of their strategy into these three. So the first one is the developing user persona, second customer interaction data, and the third one is the robust feedback system. Okay, so let us have a look into each of these strategies in more detail. Perhaps we all know that marketing companies these days are working rigorously to develop their customer persona. So by gathering data of the user on various aspects, starting from them, their demographic profile to their social media profile and all of the other details, every marketing company out there is trying to develop the user persona based on which the advertisement and all other promotions are targeted. Similarly, over 75% of viewer activity of Netflix is based on personalized recommendation. So Netflix collects several data points to create a detailed and comprehensive profile of its subscribers. So if you look into this image, this is just like a sample that I've just grabbed from the net where you can see that Netflix does something quite similar to this. So gathering data from every other aspect of an individual, they develop a user persona. So on individual, what are their occupation, what do they do, and all of those other interaction which they can easily gather from social media and all the other profiles because everything is all so interlinked, they develop the user persona. And then they can easily understand what are the choices and preferences of these users would be so that they can then target their TV shows and movies and all the other programs catering to the need of the user person. Second strategy from which Netflix is also leveraging is customer interaction data. So Netflix collects customer interaction and response data to a TV show. For example, Netflix knows the time and the date a user watched a show, who is watching the device used, if the show was paused, does the viewer resume watching after pausing, do people finish an entire TV show or not, how long does it take for a user to finish a show, and so on. So you see, all of this data is actually used to develop the customer interaction, and then based on that, Netflix can again offer the right user the right product so that they can easily retain those customers. In the image, as you can see, that we all can create our own profile and then based on our own profile, we watch specific TV shows or movies and the Netflix can target 
very easily based on our interaction as an individual. What type of shows do we watch and how long do we watch and all the other details. So with all of these, they can easily offer us the right content for the right users. For instance, if you are a user who likes thriller movies, you'll see that every time you turn on Netflix, you'll see that your home page will be populated with all the thriller movies. And then based on your preferences, like which type of other movies that you watch or which actor's movie do you watch more, you will see that there will be movies and programs offered to you based on those preferences. The third strategy is that Netflix encourages feedback from its subscribers. One feedback system is the thumbs up and thumbs down system that replace their rating system. The system improved audience engagement by a significant margin, which enabled them to customize their user's homepage further. Netflix claims that they have 33 million different versions of Netflix catering to the need of the users. Okay, so to sum up our discussion, I guess we all can understand that customer analytics is central to the success of any business these days. And Netflix would be definitely one of the best examples that has been leveraging from their customer analytics which type of analytics to be used and what form of data to be gathered. That largely depends on the nature of the business, the size of the business, the resources available, and a whole heap of other variable. But it should be kept in mind that regardless whether big or small, the knowledge and understanding of customer analytics should be central to every action. That will then help to decide adopting the right strategy according to the business's requirement.